Desiree, hi. Wraith, hello. Welcome home, Wraith. Harry Potter girl, good to see you. Elizabeth, welcome, Harry Potter girl. Hi, Elizabeth. Hey, Chris, good to see you again, too. Izzy, hello. Lil Lilino. Hi, Lilino. That's a nice name. Uh, soft child. Soft boys. Uh, hey, Hannah. Hey, Karen. Hey, Faith. Hey Marcy, hey Kibby, hey Kibby, C B Y treats. He's called for a celebration. C B Y treats. It's missing a T, but you know we can't all be T C B Y treats. Uh, great to see you again. We miss you. Uh, well, we miss you too, Chris. I'm almost. Um, yeah, I don't know, guys. It's just I do a lot of things, and then I, you know. Don't have time for my whole life. Hey, Hannah. Um, muy bien. E2? Elizabeth, I'm a big fan of your, your awesome character. Uh, cool. That's good. A lot of Loki fans out there, I'm sure. Uh, I tend to bring in a lot of those. It's Hawaiian. Lilino is Hawaiian. Okay. Nice. You know, you know what? Lilino. Is it my, am I saying it right? Whatever. It doesn't matter. So, guys, I got a letter in the mail. Uh, I knew I was going to get it, so I was checking for it. If you ever send anything to the P.O. Box, it's probably best to let me know. Otherwise, I'll let it sit there for a month um, because I'm at work all the day long that the post office is open. So, uh, I am not ever able to go to the post office during the day, and I have to go on Saturdays, and that's a big pain in the ass because I have to go right from the thing that I've been liking to do, which is free archery lessons at Woodley Park. If you're in Los Angeles... See this? See that little guy? If anyone's got any questions about how this little cat's doing, she's doing good. She likes to stand in the background sometimes. I mean, um, so yeah, if you're in the uh, Los Angeles area, you know y you can you can go to Woodley Park in Van Nuys and experience the joy of uh, shooting bows for free. They got the equipment for you and everything, so come and join, and I'll maybe be there with my girlfriend. Um, so Chris wants to know how the job is going. Chris, the job is going very well. Uh, it's a little different than the job I was doing before, so there's a little bit of a learning curve, but. Getting, you know, just kind of getting into it, just sort of like feeling it out. Um, there's a lot of, a lot of different things that need to be explored, and a lot of very finicky, sort of like specifications that the boss wants at any given time. So you know, you roll with it. You take, you take the punches, and you, you do your best, and you get paid for it. And that's all you can ask for. Um, uh, Harry Potter girl, my cat's name is Pretty Good Cat. She is a pretty good cat. She's right there, and she's pretty good looking, and she's very soft, and she doesn't talk much at all. I wish I could have her closer to the camera, but <coughs> then I have to be on my laptop, and I hate my laptop. So, um, that's a pretty good cat for any of you who are not introduced. Hi, Hubble Bubble Pop. I forgot to say hello to you. Um, Lily Noy. Oh, Lily Noy. Like Loki, but a whole lot different. More importantly, cat. Pretty kitty. Yeah. I live in Gilbertville, Iowa, and have a cat too. Well, Elizabeth, uh, you should post pictures of your cat more, hopefully. 
Uh, we have something to watch while I work now. Happy to see you. Happy to see you too, Apple Bubble Pop. So guys, yeah, um, I really have not... I have no plans. I have one plan to cosplay this year, and that's uh, to go um, to... Is it Kentucky? Is it... Where are we... Where I... Oh my god. Yeah, we're going... I'm going to one con this year that I know of. I'm not going to San Diego Comic Con. I'm not going to WonderCon as far as I know. I'm not going to any anime... Con oh, you know what? Actually, that's not true. I'm going to Anime Pasadena. Nerdbot Con's Anime Pasadena. I think it's May 26th. I'll also be at Nerd Nights uh, this Thursday. So if anyone's in Los Angeles, specifically near um, Arcadia... You can join me and the NerdBot crew to do karaoke. Lexington. That's what I was thinking. It's in Lexington, guys. I don't know. States and cities and stuff. I, they go out. It, it's just, it's all one big America to me. You know, that's all I want is a united America where I don't have to remember any city or state names. I, I barely remember where I was born. So just don't even worry about it. Okay. Um, that's my one plan to go to a convention. So if anyone has any questions about am I going to be in Hawaii am I going to be in Gibraltar am I going to be in you know uh, the, the state of uh, Wyoming I am not going to be anywhere except for uh, Lexington and then f Pasadena for anime Pasadena those are my only two plans to cosplay this year and honestly I might not even wear a Loki to anime Pasadena so we'll see what happens um Good, Wraith. Glad to hear the status update on your cat. I like hearing about a nice, healthy kitty. How about them eagles yesterday? Chris, you are barking up the wrong tree on that one. I have no idea. Like, football. Fine. Good. Glad to... You know what? There's a football player who donated his entire year's salary to charity. That's pretty cool. That's what I got to say about the Super Bowl. Um, Prince is happy to see you, but he's upset that he can't smell you. Mm-hmm. Classic. Um, hey, Desiree. Hey, Indica. Indica. You have something to watch? Okay, la 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 la. Hi, Amara, girlfriend. Um, hey, girlfriend. Uh, Lexington. Um, well, cool. Lindsay, maybe I'll see you in Lexington. Uh, I just realized Tom Hiddleston is on the... Tom Hiddleston's birthday is on the 9th. Are you planning anything special? I'm just wondering, by the way, how are you? How has your day been? Uh, do I have anything planned for Tom Hiddleston's birthday? No. Uh, a lot of people think that because I do the Loki cosplay, sometimes I'm a big Tom Hiddleston fan, which is not actually the case. I mean, I don't, I think he's great, fine, I guess, but I don't care. Okay, moving on. Um, my cat's name is Kit Kat. She's short hair, Siamese month saying, month mate, thank you. Oh, okay, cool. Uh... Harry Potter girls from Arizona. Yeah, I don't plan to be on Arizona either, but, you know, who knows. Minecraft. Hi, Minecraft 1738. Is 1738 uh, uh, specific? My day's going fine. Uh, post more, please. Please beg if you please. Desiree, the thing is, I don't have much to talk about. Aside from sitting at a desk at work all day, like, I just don't have that much to talk about, so I don't post much. Um, bye, Lindsay. Um... All I know about the Super Bowl is that the Eagles won, and there was a commercial with Peter Dinklage lip-syncing. Uh, yeah, I, if that Peter Dinklage commercial has been all over the place. Hey, Diego. Good to see you, man. Uh, I've been all right. I'm glad uh, you're tuning in. For what it's worth, uh, I, I've been seeing your Facebook posts every once in a while, but, you know, it's good to hear from you again. It's been a long time. Um, Faith, well, happy Arizona menship to you being from Arizona. You know what I mean? You're, it's cool. How come you choose Loki as your character? Oh. Harry Potter girl, why do you think I chose Loki as my character? It was more by popular demand. You can only get called something so many times before you kind of like, you know what? Fine, I'll be that thing. It was just people saying it, and I was like, all right, I'll show you. I made a costume. Who knew? Uh, for me, I'm going to go to Florida Supercon later this year, July. As for other cons, I might try for NYCC again, you see, but so far it's a big if. NYCC is a very big convention, very hard to get into. So, if you can, good, great. It's been a long time, you're still jamming with your mates. Uh, 
Yeah, I mean, Diego, uh, the the j- band stuff has taken a considerable hit lately. Uh, every once in a while, we'll do some musical stuff. I'm actually going to be performing at Nerd Nights. Uh, as I had mentioned earlier in Arcadia, Dave and Buster's uh, this coming Thursday, we're going to be doing a, a quick 30-minute set of covers. That was actually what you heard uh, in the opening. I was doing a little spoof of Your Love, which we're going to be playing for some reason, even though I don't know why. <sighs> hey, Brother Alden. It has been a long time. Uh, la, la, la. Okay, so, guys, that's what's been going on. A little bit of musical practice, been playing some games, playing a lot of D&D with my buddies. And, um, you know, not cosplaying a lot, so I apologize for that, but that's how it's going. How much did your Loki cosplay cost? More than I care to admit, so don't even worry about it. So, guys, I'm going to open up this letter that we got from Cat1192. I guess, I'm guessing Cat has a name that starts with the letters C-A-T. Just maybe Katarina. I don't know. We'll see what is going on. It looks like it's not sealed super, super tight, so I can actually just open it up like this. I believe Kat um, sent me a message. Oh, my God. There's like four pieces of paper here. And she said something to the effect of, hey, I'm going to send you something. And I was like, okay, cool. And she was like, oh, I don't have a lot of money to send you something off of your Amazon wish list. And I was like, well, don't send, don't spend your money that you don't have a lot of if you don't have a lot of it. And uh, she was like, well, I still want to send you something. I was like, well, send me a letter. And so she did, I think. Um, so what we agreed upon was that she would draw me a picture. Uh, and I said, I would like a picture of a cat riding a dog like a horse, uh, which is... Uh, referencing three animals but featuring two so we're going to see how that turns out in just a moment uh pgc is good risa um hey oh wait i said hi to brother aiden right yeah uh la 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 hey thanks xx my uh every time you're mentioning opening the letter i have blues clues flashbacks i feel like i need to get more people telling me I look like the guys from Blue's Clues because I can see that more than I can see the Loki thing, but, you know, that's just me. Uh, will you be planning on seeing the <coughs> upcoming Black Panther movie this month? I do. I would love to see that, and I will. Hope you have fun, Bill. Uh, one day see you jam, or just kick it if you're still in the SoCal region. Yeah, Diego, um, I'm in Los Angeles, so drop me a line sometime if you ever want to hang out while you're in town. Prince learned a new trick. Can you please tell him to give you his paw? I want to see if he will obey. Prince, give me a paw. Give me a paw. Shake. High five. Did did he do it? <laughs> we'll have to check up on that one later. Kind of look like the Blue's Clues guy. Yeah, that's what I think. He's on my lap. Well, great. Uh, so here's the letter. Uh, here's the picture you asked for. A cat riding a dog like a jockey riding a racehorse. This was actually really difficult to draw. Yes, it is. Uh, The dog was not too hard, but the cat was extremely challenging. Jockeys sit on their horses in a way uh, the cats are not able to. Sorry if it's not exactly what you were expecting. Guys, if I ask you to draw a picture of a cat riding a dog like a horse, it's not because I'm expecting perfection. It's because that's the first thing that is happening in my mind. Um... Also, if you were wondering, the dog is a German Shepherd. I love German Shepherds. Grew up with a bunch of German Shepherds. All of them were named Johnny, even the girls. Uh, German Shepherd. Only reason was the cat is it's big enough to hold a cat. Anyways, I would have added more detail, but this isn't my usual art style. So I wasn't sure what to add. Oh, all my reference photos were real photos. So if any of the legs look weird, I blame the photo. You're ready for art school. Um, I also decided to throw in the concept art, so have fun with that. Okay. Let's see. This is the final. So let's start with the concept. Oh, oh my God. Oh, my God. There's so many pieces of paper here. Okay. All right. So we got some preliminaries here. Let's start with that. Let me see what we got here. Other preliminaries, maybe. Uh... Okay, so we, we can see the, the 
the thought process here. PGC and her seeing eye dog. Hold on, I gotta get it away from the light a little bit. Maybe if I get it out of the. Okay, here we go. Um, okay, we got the cat drawings here. A lot of cats happening. Got a dog drawing down at the bottom. And then we got some animal uh, leg studies also down at the bottom. Uh, more cat stuff, cat legs. So yeah, there's some, a, lot of, a lot of cat study happening here. Um, then we move on to, does this look like a happy or sad horse? Anatomy, 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 anthropomorphism. So we've got some horse study happening here. Uh, and then on the reverse side, uh, cat, dog, 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 cat, dog, more cat, wait, upside down, cat, dog, there you go. A lot going on. A lot of in-depth animals studies happening here. I can actually, it's crazy, like, you can actually see some, some real progress happening here. So now we're getting into advanced cat and dogsmanship. Um, we got your, your cat coming up, uh, have the cat over the right a little bit. So the cat's getting a little bank min banking on. And then here, you can actually see a real real nice progression into advanced catting and advanced dogging and more dogs. Whew, this is a real adventure. This is the final sketch. Not my best, uh, but here you go. Well, you know, we're, we're all doing what we can. PGC and her seeing eye dog, because she is a blind cat, so she needs a seeing eye dog friend, although I don't think she'll get along with that. So here's our final image. We've got PGC just riding that doge, just on the way. I'd show, I'd show it to you in full, but unfortunately uh, the lighting is too bright and it's too blown out. So it's a beautiful... Um, it's a beautiful drawing from Cat1192. Whew! Man! What an adventure we're on together in Drawing Town. Um, I have a dog. What? There's no way, Izzy, that that cat put his paw against the screen. There is no way. But, you know what? You said it, I believe it. That's fine. My dog was small, but now he's huge. Well, Desiree, someone sold you. A bear. And he told you it was a puppy. You got shamboozled. Um, do you know Pokemon? Aiden. I know a couple of Pokemans. I know Pikachu. Vulpix. I know about Squirtle. Wartortle. Uh, uh, Charizard. I know all the ones that are in Smash Brothers, mostly. Clefairy. Uh, Goldeen, cool Goldeen, bro. You got your, um, yeah, I don't know what else Pokemon stuff you got. You got your Greninja. You got a bunch of Pokemans. I'm not gonna name them all because that was never really my thing. But you know what? They're there, and I appreciate that you like them. Uh, those picks are cool. Yeah, Desiree. It's good to you know. It's good to see some art from the people. And it doesn't all have to be Loki art. Who knew? Like, people think, oh, I'm going to send you a picture of Loki. I'm like, oh, cool, that's a million Loki pictures I got. Thanks, but sometimes I like to look at the cat and the dog riding on each other. <sighs> it's safe to say that the difference between you and the Blue's Clues guys is unlike the original actor. You have all your hair. Yeah, the, well, you know, I'm holding on to as much of it as I can, but as you can see, it's kind of running away from me a little bit. Someday this is going to be back here, and then back here, and then back here, and then I'll just shave my head and start working out a lot. Um, watching this video, Friends Show, and clips from Thor. Well, Desiree, congratulations on being able to multitask, because I cannot take in multiple channels and stuff at the same time. There is never only one bear, it's true. Bears... And they come in packs. Bears travel in packs. Did you know that? It's, I hope you don't, because it's not true. Um, uh, hi, you are awesome. Uh, keep it up, my friend. Thanks, AJ. I kind of will, but not very consistently or often. My dog was small, but now he's fat. That's kind of cute. Maybe everybody should just post pictures of their dogs on Loki A2. That's fine. He didn't put his paw on the screen, but he lifted his paw. All right, I'll take it. That's That seems fine. 
Um, Minecraft 1738 wants to know, do I like anime? Let me tell you something. I'm going to be hosting an anime con in May, and I'm not the biggest anime guy. So, like, the answer is kind of yes, but do I deserve to be hosting an anime convention? Probably not. Ooh. We're going to roll with it. It's gonna be fine. Um, I like a few animes. I liked One Punch Man. I liked Dragon Ball Z when I was a kid. I like Gundams, although I do think the Gundam animes that I've seen maybe take themselves a little seriously. They're all slow moving. Um, I like Desert Punk, Golden Boy. I like Ninja Scroll. I liked. I kind of. What's the other one? Berserk. That one's cool. I just watched those on Netflix. I wouldn't call Castlevania proper anime because I think it's an American one, but Castlevania was cool to watch. Yeah, there's a lot of great anime out there. I just, um, I don't have time for it. Like, especially like Naruto and stuff. I never got into it because there's too much. Too much to watch. Pokemon, I never, you know, I watched a few episodes when I was a kid, but it was never enough to call myself a real fan. Uh, I've been missing the Instagram, messing with Instagram while watching. I hate the app, but now I have an excuse for all the pictures of my cat. It's true. Instagram is a great place to put cat pictures, and it's a great place to see cat pictures. I would like to see more, if possible. Ninja Scroll is amazing. Uh, not for all audiences. So, kids, if you're under 18 and you want to go watch Ninja Scroll, don't. Uh, I cosplay Natasha Romanoff, and I'm hosting an anime convention, and I'm emceeing the costume contest. So, yeah. Well, uh, hopefully you have more qualifications than I do, Alexandra, because... I don't have many. Uh, Catbug. Thugbug. Hi, Loki. I need sleep, but I'd rather be listening to you instead. Well, Catbug. Pugbug. Puggy Thug. Thuggerbugger. Uh, this is going to start turning into swear words if I keep going. Um, it, you know, you should sleep. I'll, this is going to be done pretty soon, so you can get to sleep. Um, my brother thinks you're an amazing person. Well, thanks, Minecraft's brother. One more thing. If you ever met Tom Hiddleston uh, while you were dressed like Loki, Loki, what would you do? I did meet Tom Hiddleston while I was dressed like Loki, and I had him pull on my cape for a picture. It was a very short meeting, and he did it. So that was cool for a minute. That's the answer to that question. Um, my first love was Mazinger Z. I didn't really watch Mazinger Z much. Uh, do you think the OTP of Valkyrie and Loki ship is a good couple? Uh, I don't think OTP is the right word for any pairing with Loki because I don't think that he has it in him to stay with anyone if that makes sense. Like, he's kind of too self selfish to be OTP'd with anybody. But, you know, that's why I don't do... Uh, what is it? Shipping. That's why I don't do any of that stuff. Dear Loki, I wanted to say that you've inspired me to achieve cosplay and start my YouTube channel wherever I, can, I feel comfortable and free to be myself. Keep doing what you're doing. Thanks, KTFG Random Vlogs. Um, I gotta say, go ahead and do the cosplay thing. Go ahead and do the YouTube thing. I do not get people's, like, obsession with YouTube, I if this is just a way for me to do a streaming that lets me use all the digital tools that I need to. Um, I can't really use Twitch for this because it would violate their terms of service and YouTube's just kind of something that everybody can access. I don't care about YouTube, uh, but here I am on it. So, like, you know, if it's your dream, do it. I'm not going to be mad at you about it, but, like, yeah, it's a weird phenomenon that's happening right now where people are like, I follow YouTubers, and it's like, why? why? Well, they're just people. There's just people talking to you. Like, I get it. It's fun to talk to people, but a lot of these people don't really have anything to say. Um, do you also play portable console games? just bought myself a Nintendo 3DS XL for my birthday last month. Super Mario Maker and Super Smash Bros. are my personal favorites. I don't play any of those on a portable console, but I do love Smash Bros. And it is the same game across platforms, as far as I can tell. So that's kind of cool. Um, 
Do, 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 do. I was just wondering, uh, looking at videos, thinking, hmm, when's he gonna post? And then it shows up, and I'm just happy about this. Well, good, Desiree. I'm glad uh, you're here. Yeah, uh, I met Tom real quick. It was real quick. I didn't really get to say much to him. Uh, but he's a nice guy, as far as I can tell, from the 15 seconds I got to spend with him. And, you know, that's thanks to Marcy and Mark uh, for, for bringing, bringing myself and Thor TV out there to, to, to meet Tom Hiddleston and, and Chris Hemsworth. And it was, a, it was an experience. It was a lot of line waiting. A lot of waiting in lines. Um, I never really realized how m much went into cosplay until I stumbled on your channel. Oh, God. I mean, if I'm your gauge for how much goes into cosplay, oh, man, you've got a whole world to explore. There's so many people working so much harder to make cosplay than I did or do, especially do since I don't. Um, most of my costumes were made by somebody else. Uh, I've made a few little props and chips and blitz here and there, but nothing that I, sh you know, can say, like, I made a costume. I've made very little, so, you know, go follow some real craftsman people. There's some great cosplay artists out there, and I'm, I'm not one of them. I'm just a guy that takes pictures in a costume that somebody else made. All right. Um, la la la. I've only ever seen two animes, Black Butler and Sailor Moon, so I wouldn't call myself super qualified. Nor would I. I'm supposed to be doing homework. Get in there, Izzy. You gotta get out of here and do that homework. Here's a helicopter for you. It's actually still pretty hilarious. Do you know Five Nights at Freddy's? If you do, do you like it? I know of it. I've never played it. I'm not much into scary things. Um, do you know what Gravity Falls is? I know of it. I know it involves the Illuminati and an old man and some kids. That's it. Um, YouTube is all right. Plan on using it whenever my brain lets me, but I don't plan on making my life um, just using it as a creative outlet. Good, Wraith. I'm honestly glad to hear that you're just doing stuff. You always seem like you're kind of in a rut. So if you're out there doing YouTube videos, good. I brought journal number three from Gravity Falls for my son. Oh, that's nice. I like YouTube because there is a cat and dog videos. That is a very redeeming quality of YouTube. Uh, what's your favorite Saturday morning cartoon? Ooh, Saturday morning cartoon. I really liked um, Young Justice. I don't know if that was ever on Saturday mornings, but that was a really good show. Um, Justice League was also really good. Uh, there was a lot of really good superhero shows. X-Men and Spider-Man back in the 90s, not as big of a fan of those. I didn't like X-Men Evolution or whatever it was, the one where they were all really angsty teenagers. That one wasn't my favorite. Uh, YouTube is both a time suck and also an effective form of mass communication. Any video games you plan to pick up this year? Uh, I, I've been playing a ton of uh, Lords of Waterdeep, which is a board game that got made into kind of an app-ish video game. I'm also going to be... I'm running through Wolfenstein The New Order right now So because I bought Wolfenstein The New Colossus and Wolfenstein Old Blood. So I'm going to play through, like, all of that in a big row because I love Wolfenstein. So Wolfenstein is the answer. Um, let's see. Uh, la, 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 la. Speaking of anime, I just saw the first ever Godzilla anime on Netflix called Godzilla Monster Planet. Not bad. I just prefer the old man in the rubber suit type of monster films. I didn't like that new Godzilla. It was long, and it was weird. Like, it was just like, hey, we're in space now, because like, Godzilla destroyed a bunch of stuff, and I guess we'll just not be in space anymore. Oh, by the way, that time that passed, it was weird, because it's different here than there, but, like, outrageously different. Also, it takes a lot longer to get to a place in space than back. And uh, all these characters are just, like, really weirdly, like, mad at stuff, but also not smart and just, like, kind of suicidal, and I don't know what was going on there, so maybe it's a cultural thing. Um, let's see. I swear I'm going to cry, and my brother wants to know if you have seen Yokai. Watch if you did you, you. I do not know what Yokai is. Um, I'm kind of still in a rut and taking a step of at least writing down my ideas, which you take as a small victory. Good, Wraith. I mean, every little step counts. Um, Young Justice was good, definitely. Uh, Gravity Falls. The demon from Gravity Falls is named Bill Cipher. 
Interesting. My cosplay is Mabel from Gravity Falls, and I need to find a way to make braces. Braces! Braces are tough, yeah. You could get some of those clear Invisalign sort of style braces and then just put metal things on them, but, you know, it's going to cost you money, as everything does. <sighs> um, I cosplay, okay, um... I'll be listening while doing homework. Keep talking. Fine. God, don't tell me what to do. Have you seen the new Infinity Wars trailer? I did. It seems a lot like the old Infinity Wars trailer. You have a helicopter. I have Mr. Whistle pulling. Yeah. yeah. My girlfriend has a guy who whistles, who hangs out outside her door sometimes. It's terrible. I can't wait for Infinity War. What? Godzilla in space? No, Godzilla never goes to space, but all the other inhabitants of the planet Earth do. I cried at the trailer, and he comes out on my birthday... Uh, best birthday gift ever. That is good. That's going to be a momentous occasion for movie history. Uh, just home. What perfect timing. Selena, no! I'm about to finish up. We've been going for like a half an hour. What kind of games do you like if you don't play games? Okay. Uh, I just like first-person shooters and Smash Brothers, really. I like some platform style. Like, I, I play platformers whenever I get my hands on them, but I'll, I'll go for a first-person shooter almost every time. Um need to watch Godzilla. Yeah, go watch it tonight. It's like an hour and a half long, and you'll be confused at the end. I refuse to watch the trailers until uh, close to the movie release. Um, yeah, Wraith, I don't know. I do. I've played TF2 a lot. Um, I like the medic. I've Actually, it's funny. When you look at my sort of, uh, I don't know, my history in Team Fortress 2, it's like all characters have no minutes played, and then the medic is like 35 hours or something like that. I don't know. Probably more. But, you know, all I've ever played as is the medic because he's the only one I like being. Have you ever seen the Ghostbusters original? Of course. I grew up in the 80s. Two midterms on Wednesday. Wish me luck. Well, good luck, Selena. Should I, I wish I, I could send you a little bottle full of well wishes, but I won't. I'm lazy, I'm sorry. I'm lazy, and I have my own stuff that I have to do. I think Logie dies in Infinity War. Desiree, let's not get into that. Uh, Infinity War comes out around when I graduate from high school. Best gift ever. That is a pretty good gift. I miss Left 4 Dead. I tried playing TF2, uh, but I can only play the practice rounds with bots. The community sucks. Yeah, that is an unfortunate thing about online gaming, is that you're expected to play exactly like everyone has decided is the way to play. So you'll get games like Overwatch or whatever, and like sort of gamer gamers decide like, okay, we're only ever gonna play on this one level uh, with these three or four characters, and if you're not those characters and you're not playing in exactly the like technique we've developed, we're gonna get real mad at you. We're gonna yell at you even though you're our teammate. We're not gonna teach you anything. We're just gonna say, do this thing this weird, like, strategy that we've developed. I had a guy yell at me once because I was supporting him as a medic in Team Fortress 2, but I wasn't using the correct medic device. He preferred the one that let him kill more rather than the one that let me actually heal him, which is the whole reason why I like being a medic. And it was like, oh, well, fuck me for not doing exactly what you want to do. And I guess I'll just go help somebody else out who wants a teammate who's going to be, like, helpful in a slightly different way than they want. Ah, oh, man. Um, intent is good enough. Uh, I'll be so depressed. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. Loki dies. He's already died, like, four times. If he dies again, like, fine. I don't care. Um... Amada, did you see the video about how Ragnarok should have ended? I saw that. Uh, I think Captain America and Tony Stark die in Infinity Wars because their contract expires after that movie, and they've not been renewed. Yeah, I mean, I don't, I wouldn't put too much m money or stock in that because they're making so much money that regardless of whether they have a contract or not, like, for them to not go back and do more movies is just like a, I don't know doesn't make any sense but maybe that's just maybe they're tired of it hey mrs mojo rising oh no we're gonna be finishing up soon if you met a depressed person what would you say to that person uh you don't have to answer it's gloomy or whatever um aiden 
if you if I met a depressed person, I mean, there's no one thing to say to a depressed person. I mean, I'd, I'd probably just be like, "Hey, how's it going, buddy? You know, how you doing? How you feeling? You all right? You not all right? It's okay to not be all right. You gonna get some ice cream? Mmm, that's pretty good. I like to get some ice cream sometimes. Mmm, ice cream. What were we talking about? So, yeah, ice cream. If I ever met ice cream, I'd probably eat it. Uh, dang, I have to go. This whole video is so awesome. Thanks, Desiree. We'll see you soon. I don't know. Like, all this, the moral of this story, guys, is that if you just send something to the P.O. Box, I'll eventually just let me know you sent it, and I'll get it, and I'll open it, and we'll talk a little bit. That's all it takes. You don't have to spend a million dollars on the wish list. I like stuff from the wish list. I like stuff from the P.O. Box. You can do whatever you want. If I get something, I'll eventually get it. I got this on Saturday, and I'm just getting around to it today. So, you know, that's how it went. If Logie dies, I'll cry. It will appear as a different person. Yell at him again for toying with my emotions. All right. Don't boo, Aiden. It's okay. <laughs> don't be don't be a boo humbug. Ice cream is the gift of the gods. Well, it's a gift of somebody. Maybe Banner Jerry. Who knows? Well, guys, it's 7.06. I'm going to go make some dinner, maybe play some Wolfenstein. I don't know. Don't tell me what to do. So until next time, uh, be good and have fun. And don't, you know, don't worry about whether Loki's going to die. The movie will happen as it happens. I'm going to be doing an unboxing on my channel this week. All right, so everyone tune into Izzy's, Izzy Disney's channel. V.I. Lewis says ice cream. Alexander says night. Minecraft says I'm scary. But Aiden says it. I don't know, I guess. Not that scary. I've seen scarier. Whatever. Good night, everybody. We will see you in a bit. <laughs> I should play Wolfenstein, but like the original, since uh, it's the only one I can run. Oh, that's a bummer. Mm. Well, on that note, g just be good and stay safe. Good night. Well, I'm doing a channel, we got a